In today's Vikram Loves Mobile Phones video, we are looking at how easily and quickly you can send mobile airtime from Qatar to India. Now I'm on the World Remit page. Don't worry, I provide the, the, the direct link to this very page in the description below this video. You can simply click on that and get to the same page yourself and then go through the same steps that I'll showcase. The first step is to choose Qatar as the sending country or the country from which we intend to send the money for mobile airtime which I've already done. Likewise, the second step is to choose India as the recipient country to which mobile top up is being sent to. With these two steps already in place, let's get started. Here you can see that uh, using World Remit, one can easily send mobile airtime recharge that to online to India. And the mobile operator in question really does not matter whether it's Airtel, SL, BSNL, Idea, Loop, Vodafone, any of the numerous mobile operators in India, you can still send mobile airtime with equal ease. Now, having established that, we also need to look at the fact that World Remit well and truly has the whole of India very well covered because here they're talking about Amritsar to Madurai, which means from the north to south, but likewise, East to West is just as easily and just as thoroughly covered by World Remit. So no matter where in India, let's say from Qatar you're looking to send mobile airtime to Kerala, you could do that with equal ease. And it is well and truly the fastest, simplest way to send airtime recharge with industry-leading payment security. That is quintessential. If that is not in place, you will not be using any such platform. Further, it is very flexible whereby whether you're using a computer, smartphone or tablet, it does not matter. You can use any such device to uh, connect online and then get onto World Remit and go through with the mobile airtime recharge. Now, having established all of that, we are sending to India, we are sending airtime. What we need to do is enter a mobile number. So let's do that. Say 9810232456. And we repeat the number 9810232456. So we've done that and it recognizes the operator on its own as Airtel India. And here we have the top up amount which we need to choose. The entire range is presented from as little as 10 rupees to 1000 rupees. So let's take the maximum which is 1000 rupees. For that, you'll be paying in Qatari Rial, you'll just be paying 81.85 for the recipient in India to receive 1000 Indian rupees as mobile airtime recharge. Likewise, if we let's say half that to 500 Indian rupees, for that, you'll be paying 41 Qatari Rial, and that's about it for the recipient in India to receive 500 INR credit on his or her mobile phone. And as already mentioned, the operator in question really does not matter. Airtel, SL, BSNL, Idea, Loop, MTS, Reliance, Tata Docomo, Tata Indicom, Uninor, Videocon GSM, Vodafone. And you even have the DTH operators. So Dish TV, Sun Direct, Tata Sky and of course the government owned MTNL in Delhi and Mumbai as well. So any of these operators you can use any service to recharge it does not matter at all when you're sending mobile airtime from qatar to india you can do so to any of these operators bear in mind that the recipient will receive 87 percent of the recharge value which is of course standard even in india if you were to recharge using any medium even if you were to buy a cash card say and do it or buy any of those recharge coupons you would still get that much recharge value because India deducts tax locally. So that having established that and having seen how fast and easy and simple it is to send mobile airtime from Qatar to India, let's look at why choose World Remit in particular. Firstly, it's low cost with low fees displayed upfront. In fact, right upfront, you know exactly the amount to be paid in Qatari Rial. Further, the exchange rates are guaranteed. Here too, you know exactly the amount to send as per the exchange rate in question and of course it is very very fast in fact in most cases it's instant including this one as soon as 
send is pressed here and the transaction is completed, the recipient in India would receive mobile airtime credit. And throughout the process, there's a constant flow of communication both by SMS and email. That way, both the sender and the receiver are kept updated about how things are going. Moreover, it is very simple. It's 24 by 7. You don't need to visit any agent anywhere like Western Union. You simply get onto your computer, smartphone or tablet and go through with the transfer. And yes, when it comes to quality of the platform, it is very trustworthy. Bear in mind that the same folks who've invested in Facebook have invested as much as $140 million in World Remit. Moreover, World Remit's own customers have rated it as excellent on Trustpilot. So these are some of the reasons for which World Remit is highly recommended. It is well and truly as easy as 1, 2, 3 where you select the country, enter the mobile number and send airtime as easy peasy as that and these are some of the reviews that uh, world remit has received there are many more you can check all of them and you can also google world remit and read about it know about it that way you'll have that much more confidence to sign up for which i provided the direct link in the description as i mentioned and uh, in the description of this video before i conclude I would like to add that when you're looking to send mobile airtime from Qatar, you can do so not only to India, to just about anywhere. For example, in Qatar, there are a lot of other nationalities also toiling hard. You have folks from Philippines, you have folks from Nepal, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. And likewise, if you're in India, you're hoping to receive mobile airtime from folks abroad. It could be your friends, it could be your family. You can do so from practically any country in the world, each time using World Remit. So that was pretty much uh, it as far as sending mobile airtime from Qatar to India is concerned. Thanks a lot for watching.